Alright, so a quick video here on Pascal's triangle and how to use it for something called selections. Uh, now, you already know that Pascal's triangle looks like this, and uh, we probably need to talk about how to talk about each element of Pascal's triangle. So Pascal's triangle is a little bit strange because uh, you actually start counting all the time from zero. What I mean by that is that this element here is actually in uh, row zero. Uh, and it's also uh, the first element in row zero, which is element zero. Uh, now, that feels pretty straightforward. Oh, well, it's a little bit strange and it's hard to get used to, but that makes this row one. And that makes this element zero. And it makes that element one. And if I go down a little bit further, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is actually row 5, even though it's pretty, it's pretty easy to think that it's row 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But you have to start counting from 0, and um, this element here is element 0, 1, 2. So row 5, element 2. All right, so it's very, very important in uh, Pascal's triangle that you know how to count the rows. They always start at zero, and you know how to count the elements at uh, zero. Now, we can use those aspects of uh, Pascal's triangle to do something really, really good uh, involving ice cream flavors. Let's go with the moment that you went to the ice cream store and you saw these are seven flavors of ice cream. I'll let you figure out what the flavors are, but there's seven of them. Now, you see a sign that says you can have three scoops for five dollars uh, but you're not allowed to double anything up so you can't just if this is strawberry you can't just have three scoops of strawberry or two scoops of strawberry you have to have three different scoops of ice cream uh, now the question is how many different uh, selections can i make so i could choose these first three here or i could choose the first two followed by the orange one or I could choose uh, the last two and the green one. There are a lot of different selections I could make, but how many different selections? And actually, Pascal's triangle helps us with this. Um, so when we're talking about these selections, we use this uh, notation. It's uh, pretty cool. The notation is uh, N C R, which stands for N choose R. N is um, uh, like a, a superscript. It's, it's a small letter up the top. C is a proper sized C and R is a subscript, a small sized R down the bottom. N choose R, N-C-R. Uh, and N-C-R is really um, allowing us to say, if I've got a certain number of uh, things to choose from and I want to choose a certain number of them, uh, how many selections are there? So in this particular case, in our particular example here, um, in our example, we've got seven ice cream flavors. So my N is seven, and I'm the C is always there. You don't replace C with anything because it's seven choose. That's the word choose. Seven choose three flavors. Seven choose three flavors, uh, and Pascal's triangle helps us come up with seven choose three flavors. So to do that, I go down to my seventh row, uh, row zero, row one, row two, row three, row four, row five, row six, row seven. And then I go over to the third element, which is actually the fourth element, row zero, row um, one, row two, row three. Okay, so. NCR in this case, or sorry, 7 choose 3 or 7C3 is equal to 35. At this particular ice cream shop with seven different flavors, and you can choose three scoops with no double ups, you can have 35 different combinations of ice cream cone. So, some things to note here notes, order doesn't matter. Selections, it doesn't matter whether I go strawberry, chocolate, lime, or lime, chocolate, strawberry on my ice cream cone, that's considered the same choice. Um, order doesn't matter. 
Another important thing to note here is that NC0 is always equal to 1. So what, what does that mean? Well, if I've got seven ice cream flavors, so if my N was seven, let's say, or it doesn't matter, uh, but I want to choose zero of the options, well, there's only one way to choose zero things, and that's just to choose zero things. Now, similarly, NCN, that is, uh, if there's seven ice cream flavors and I want to choose seven flavors, there's only one way to do that, and that's to choose all the flavors. And if you look at Pascal's triangle, NC0, every single zeroth element is one. And also every last element is one. So if you're in the fifth row, the fifth element is one. If you're in the seventh row, the seventh element uh, is one. And if you've got your calculator, which you should have, and you go into your calc mode here, and you click option, You've got a whole bunch of different things you can do. Click the arrow to move to more options where it says prob for probability because this is sort of a branch of probability. Click probability and click NCR and a C will appear. Now, if I wanted to know seven choose three, I just type seven before the C and I choose three after the C and I get 35. So your calculator has a nice way of doing this without using Pascal's triangle. But really, we should be able to use Pascal's triangle tech if we're working tech-free. The sum of all choices is equal to 2 to the power of n. So uh, let's say that you went to this ice cream shop and you could choose. You could say, I want zero flavors. I want one flavor. I want two. I want three. I want four. I want five. I want six. I want seven. Uh, in, and those were all of your options. Uh, and the question is, how many different selections could you make then? Well, the number of selections you could make would be um, there's so there's seven things to choose from. So seven choose zero. You could choose to have no flavors. You could do seven choose uh, one, which is just going to be equal to seven because you've got seven flavors to choose from. You could do uh, seven choose two, which is just going to be the uh, second element of row seven, which is 21. Uh, and you can continue on like this until you hit dot, dot, dot. Uh, seven choose seven. Now, if you add all of those together, so that is one plus seven plus 21 plus 35 plus 35 plus 21 plus seven plus one, you get two to the power of uh, seven, which is um, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128. So in this particular ice cream shop, you could choose 128 different things to do. You could choose no ice, ice cream flavors. You could choose all ice cream flavors. You could choose um, two different flavors. Uh, you could, sorry, you could choose one flavor. You could choose two different flavors, three. And there's a whole bunch, there's 128 different combinations that you could choose there. One last little thing I want to mention is that um, NCR has an alternative notation. You can also just write it as like a set of um, brackets, something like that, um, N, R. So if I wanted to say, um, example, seven choose three, another way to write that is just brackets seven, three, uh, one above the other. All right. Um, there has been a, a few notes there. It's, we've, we've sort of jumped through quite a little bit um, and it's been a longish video. Give it a crack.